These gotta be fufu, bruh. These definitely gotta be fufu. Even the tag. Oh no, these are definitely fake. So I literally got in at 9 a.m., went straight to the event, got some food, and now I'm back at the airport. And on top of that, just got back from Europe 48 hours ago. So I didn't even let the jet lag really settle in, but it's okay because it is my job. This is what I do. I can't complain. I'm blessed and I'm grateful for even being able to get these opportunities and travel as much as I do. But anyway, got so. 10 year anniversary in Boston, great event. I wasn't planning to purchase anything because in this video, I was planning to show you guys my big pickup that I got. I bought myself another crazy PE, which I probably shouldn't have done. You guys know me and my history with PEs. It does not have a good track record. So I was planning to just show you guys the regular Got Soul vlog and then go home and unbox the shoes, but I did end up picking up something. So two for one special. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to do this little intro after the event before I go home to show you guys my new pickup but recap the event and show you guys the footage from the event if that makes sense oh also before we get into the got soul footage my birthday was a few days ago I'm doing a special birthday whatnot celebration not really to celebrate my birthday but just to use it as an excuse to give away multiple shoes to you guys not only am I going to be giving away one shoe on the whatnot but I'm also going to be giving away two other shoes which makes three shoes and then I might even have some other surprises but we'll talk about that later all right anyway let's check out what happened at got soul because it was just great energy good vibes and I had a great day even though I'm exhausted and can't feel my legs. <sighs> Insert the B-roll. So for those of you guys that don't know, Boston is the hometown for the Got Soul team. Of course, they're gonna do their 10 year anniversary event out here. And of course, people are gonna be out here showing love. 10 years down, another 100 to go. All right, show them what's on feet. Drip check? Wow, okay. I haven't seen you pull out the heat. feet. Yeah, I mean, these, that's a good one right there. Red October's. I've only worn these one other time at my college graduation. Wow, so, special occasions I mean, it's only. Ten, it's the 10 year. 10 year, baby. right? Oh my God, that's hard. It's like a tour team. Almost 50 events and Ten a years. lot more to go. DC next. DC, DC next October month. 21st. We'll be in the building. Banger. We got more cities coming. Let us know what city you want us to come to. I've heard Bay Area from this I guy. Do, I'm trying to. to force the Bay Area and international. international. I just came back from the UK, you know. So we appreciate you all watching and yeah, let's have a good event. Let's do it. Appreciate you guys. All right, brother. Bye. I'll see you inside. Size 19. What's that? 21? Oh, 22, I think. 21. 21, bro. 21, yeah. <laughs> Hello? I think I, it's a double sock. I could do it. I got a pair. Just yeah, for. Yeah, I got a pair just to just to buy them. This is this will break more necks than anything else on your table when you wear them. That, that's a, that's what's crazy. Oh wow, skunks. Yeah, these are crazy. This is a. I'm not into dunks, but for the history, it's a 10 out of 10. Oh my god, I didn't see these ones. I would actually wear these. Roll my ankle and put them on, even though they have no ankle support. How you doing, boss? What size are the born and raised? Nine and a half. Nine and a half? How much? Oh, it's not bad. Box? No box. No box. Okay. Okay. Used. Oh, okay, okay. Could be a good giveaway shoe. I don't want to mess up this display, bro. You did it all nice. Damn, 550, huh? Okay, I'm gonna think about this one. I might come back for that. I'm a 10, uh, but I do whatnot, so I would probably buy it and give them away. This is an LV? Yeah. Man, I can't 10. barely see the... It's a 10? Yeah. God damn, who wore these? They can barely see the print anymore. How much you asking? 45. Damn, man. Got some tempting items. I'll be back. I'll be back. Thank you guys. The LV, you can't even see the print on the shoe anymore. So it looks like an all black Air Force. Champ pack right here. I remember I hit on these on uh, Nike.com, but I hit on an eight and a half and then I took them to Soul Supremacy and they uh, sold them for me. That was probably one of my biggest flips back in the day. So I I've always loved this shoe, but I've never had a personal pair. This is a 10 and a half, too big for me. These actually only came out in Boston. So I'm expecting a bunch of pairs to come to be in here. This one's an eight, but people will be taxing. It's not even my size. I'm not gonna tease myself. Khaled trainer, I've never seen that before. With the lunar loin midsole, the all whites, the canaries. Oh wow, the friends and family Tiffany. I haven't even seen this one yet. That's crazy. I don't even know whose it is. Is it this guy? I like the black pair more than the friends and family, right? I 
Walmart. This looks like a Nike ID. Whose is this? That's a lot. These are some expensive pairs to just be leaving here unattended. <laughs> I stole sneakers that got sold. I actually messed with these. These are actually hard. What size is this? US eight and a half. I don't know if I could pull it off. This is something that I come home with and Mina will roast me for them. Yeah, they got hella New Balance. Oh yeah, we're in Boston. New Balance is from Boston, right? The more I see the, the Supreme Dunks, the more I want them. But I just don't want to pay over 300. I like seeing the old, old stuff, bro. Originals. Nah, I'm good, man. <laughs> Gotta control myself. Terror Squad. I don't know which one I want more. I think this is the more limited one, but these, I mean, it's a panda colorway. I'll wear this one probably more, to be honest with you. My birthday was actually two days ago, and I bought myself a birthday gift on Whatnot, and I think that's what I'm gonna show you guys for my main pickup of this video. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything today at Gasol, but you never know. But I did buy myself a, another PE, even though I shouldn't. I shouldn't be buying PEs, but I couldn't help myself. So after we're done here at Gasol, we're gonna go back to the crib because I leave tonight. I'm gonna show you guys my newest pickup. What size are these? Oh, man. Uh, that is on 10 and a half. Okay, yeah. How much you asking on this? This one show I regret selling, man. You know what, I never was into them like when I was younger, but then now as I get the age and better. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I take it forever to drop the red candles. Yeah. Like, I used to like patent leather, now I hate patent leather. I hate the patent yeah, leather patent joint. That bread ruined it for me. The yeah. bread patent leather is ruined it for me. Like the mint, remember the, the Carolinas, the yeah, gold, like, the Chicago? Yeah, and a half, right? Yeah. yeah. 64. 64? Right <laughs> uh, man, yeah. my, my problem is, is that I bought these for like, 1200 back, or yeah, yeah 1200 yeah. back then mm -hmm. and then I sold them because they were a half size too big and now I'm like I should have just kept them I can't pay no six bands That's too I don't even think I'd pay more than like two or three to be honest but I don't want to lowball you know appreciate y'all yo what up man they got the heat they got the heat these were so hard back in the day I remember I wanted these so bad that's so crazy if you were on the Janowski hype you're a real sneakerhead the shoes looking really good to me the comments about to be flaming me. Oh, he's not a dunk guy. Who made these, bro? They actually look sick. Like if, if this was an actual SB, I think people would f with it. Yeah, they actually killed it with that. With the donut box. Damn, 900. This shoe haunts me because I paid $6,000 for this shoe. Now it goes for like two. My biggest L right here. Everybody who asked me what's my biggest L in sneakers, the black cause fours. The only reason I bought it too is because I wrapped my car in that cause print. So I wanted these, I bought them took the L. But hey, sometimes you take L's in life, you know what I'm saying? The LV foam runners though. You know what's funny is when I post stuff like this on my Snapchat, it gets like more like screenshots than anything. Follow me on Snapchat if you don't already. Oh my God, finally. I've been looking. I shouldn't have said that. Now they're gonna tax me. What's the price? What's the price? Let me see, let me see, let me see. I've been looking for this size. Can't find it anywhere, bro. Man, I look no more. Come yeah. safe cake. We here. I'll give you two. They're like, last sale was like 270. They were like at 200 when I was looking for them. 250? Yeah? Let's lock it in. I didn't think I was gonna buy anything, but I need these. Gallery department vans. The gallery on the midsole. These are so hard. The furry line. The leather, I didn't expect, I bought these for Bina and I didn't even look at them. I didn't even know that like the leather is like this. And yeah, I definitely need it. The good thing about this too is gonna be easy to take back home. I don't gotta worry, I'm not gonna take the box. The one you just texted? Sneaker of the year. So beautiful. I got my pair on lock. I'm gonna pick it up when I go home. Mina hit on sneakers this morning for her size. All right, guys, so we walked around, got soul. I ended up picking up something that I did not expect I was gonna get, but it is something that I was looking for. Like I mentioned earlier, I did purchase another player exclusive Jordan. I mean, I don't have a good history with picking up PEs, but I couldn't help it, man. I found this pair, got it off Whatnot, and I'm also gonna be hosting a Whatnot. Actually, this might be going up after the, no, this is going up before. And I'm also gonna tell you guys about a Whatnot that I'm having this coming week, which is gonna be like my birthday special Whatnot, where I'm gonna be giving away a bunch of stuff. Um, so we're gonna go back to the crib. We're leaving Boston and I'm gonna show you guys my newest sneaker pickup. Let's go. So I just got back from Europe and I got a bunch of packages. So we'll unbox that and then we'll unbox the rest of them. So Instagram ads got me as soon as I purchased this and I got the confirmation email. I knew 100% I got finesse so when i saw the instagram ad i'm telling you it looked so legit it looked like it was coming from the actual company that's supposed to be making the piece 
of footwear that is in this bag. Before we open these up though, and we figure out whether or not they're actually legit, which they're probably not, I'm gonna be going live on whatnot, and this show is gonna be extra special because my birthday was literally yesterday, September 21st, and we're gonna be doing a special birthday edition on whatnot. I'm gonna be doing crazy giveaways. I'm not only gonna be giving away one shoe, but I plan to give away three shoes, if not more. Right now, we only have three lined up, but hopefully, by the time of the show, I might have a few more surprises for you guys. The main shoe that I'm going to be giving away on the birthday whatnot stream is a pair of Lost and Found Jordan 1s. I'm also going to be giving away Yeezy Slides and Red Cement Jordan 4. So there's going to be three different winners, but again, we might have some more items. So there might be more than just three. There might be like five, six, maybe even seven. Definitely want to tune in because you could win Lost and Founds for free. Use that link. You also get $10 off your first purchase as well. And you get to tune in and watch me go live for about an hour to two hours and even if you don't plan to buy anything and you just want to come for the free stuff you're more than welcome to it's always a good time on my whatnot live literally a day away so don't miss out click the link bookmark the show and i will see you guys on the birthday whatnot live stream all right with that being said let's see what's inside the bag he's right here so i got the lightning mcqueen crocs are they fake? There's one thing that's definitely gonna tell me whether or not they're real or fake because the real ones light up and these ones, I'm not sure if they actually light up. Like obviously I'm not a croc expert so I don't know how to legit check crocs. But again, oh, they do not smell like real crocs. These gotta be foo-foo, bruh. These definitely gotta be foo-foo. Even the tag, the tag looks weird. Tag looks weird. It's got like this right here. Like, I forget. Oh, no, these are definitely fake. These are definitely fake. Look at these. These are definitely fake. It doesn't even go all the way. It came like this. Like, this is a really good fake for a croc. The thing is, they're supposed to light up, so. They don't light up. They do not light up. There's not even a place for the lights to be at. Bro, we got finesse. Instagram ad did me dirty, bro. Instagram ad did me dirty. I knew I messed up as soon as I got that confirmation email, bro. These are not legit. Hold on, I got a pair of, uh, so I just got these from the actual, actual Croc website. These are the Shrek Crocs. And honestly, I don't plan to wear any of these. I just kind of buy them because they're cool. And whenever I post them on my Snapchat, people like to look at them. Look at the tag size on this one versus the tag size on this one, okay? Look at that. <sighs> Instagram, y'all gotta do a better job, bro. Y'all got to do a better job selling, f letting f companies sell fake products on Instagram ads. It's all bad. So yeah, this is a warning. If you see an Instagram ad, if it's too good to be true, it isn't true. They smell funky, bro. Crocs do not smell like this, bro. Y'all already know, guys, we do not support fakes here. We do not rock fake. Bro, look at this. I wish y'all could see this is so poorly made. Crocs do not bend so softly like that. Like, this is so weird. It looks just like them. Like, if you saw somebody wearing these, you would not even know, but I think I paid like 40 bucks for these and retail is supposed to be like 70 and resells like 100 bucks or something like that. All right, but anyway, aside from the Fugazi Crocs, like I said earlier, we did pick up a few other sneakers. But what is this one? Oh, this is the one. This is the one, this is the one, this is the PE. You know, I try to stay away from these things. Like, look at that. Sample tag or promo sample tag. I was at New York Got Soul. I met a homie and I actually purchased the reverse Grinches off him to give away on a whatnot. And then he hit me up and he told me he had these and he listed them on his whatnot. So that's where I purchased it. I purchased it off whatnot from his account. And um, it's a shoe that I've actually been looking for, but I haven't really been able to find it in my size. So shout out to my guy. This is his logo right here. Let me cover up all the other details. Sneakerhead 101. But yeah, shout out to him for assisting me on these. And I'm actually super excited to open these up for you guys. I feel like this is a big moment, all right? Adding another PE into the collection. All right, we got his car right here. Actually, you know what? We'll pop up his QR code if y'all want to check them out. Make sure you scan that. They're even authenticated by our friends over at eBay. And if, if you wouldn't trust them yet, not only are they eBay authenticated, but they're GOAT authenticated, all right? So we got double, if not triple, authentication. And ladies and gentlemen, we got... 
I haven't been excited for a shoe in a very long time like this. The Oregon Jordan 8 Player Ick exclusives bro look at these we got the duck on the tongue quacking at you look at that only 270 pairs made you see the duck fur on the sock liner you see that we're definitely going to be staying nice and warm chrome hits you see the green chrome hit the white leather with the holes on it looking like a mercedes leather interior on that bad boy the green bottom with the yellow jump man blacked out look at that blacked out no jordan 8 print and then you got the Oregon duck on that Jordan 8 side panel the air Jordan on the 8 strap wow, I gotta keep these sometimes you just gotta when you get a brand new sneaker you just gotta keep it outside of the box you know just breathe let it breathe all right next up we got this pair right here and this is a shoe that I used to have in my collection but then I ended up getting rid of them and it just always haunted me because Mina has them so I always see them in her collection and I'm like all right look I'm not an SB guy I'm not a dunk guy but this shoe belongs in my collection and I decided to pull the trigger. I picked these up off of the homies over at The Shoe Game Co. I bought in a few things from them, actually. They actually kill it on whatnot. And uh, yeah, they had them size 10 and a half. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the Habibi Dunks. If I'm gonna have any dunk in my collection, it's gotta be the Habibi Dunk. Every time I go to Dubai, I'm like, bro, I wish I had the Habibi Dunks for this trip. I am planning to go back soon. We got them, baby. We have to get the Habibi Dunks. Oh, one last pickup iPhone 15 Pro Max. Hello? Ain't no gimmick. Don't need no gimmicks. Got no limits. I'm spinning 